day after his name was dragged into a college sex racket, Tamil Nadu Governor Banwari Lal Purohit denied having any links with the accused. The professor accused of luring students had claimed that she knew the governor who is also the chancellor of the university to which the college is affiliated. But the governor flatly denied this allegation. A one-man committee has also been appointed to look into the matter. When journalists asked the governor why a woman wasn't included in the committee, he interrupted a lady journalist, allegedly tapped her on her cheek and walked away. Pramod Madhav is jo joining me on the phone line with more details. Pramod, over to you. Well, this is one of the most inappropriate things done by a bureaucrat in the state in a very long time. And in fact, it's very sad that how the bureaucrats can go ahead and think that they can patronize anyone by acting in such a form. The governor, yesterday in this whole uh, 90 minutes press meet, what he wanted to prove was that, that he was a person who has a stature of an old uh, senior uh, person, something like a grandfather. And that's the reason when allegations were brought about his name being involved in this particular, uh, this kind of allegation, sexual affairs, 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 affairs allegation, he started saying that I have a son, I have a grandson, which had no correlation with the kind of like allegations that were brought because him being a chancellor, governor has appointed one person to investigate the matter. So the question that rose there was that how can somebody be appointed by the governor itself when the governor's name is itself in this particular allegation or this conspiracy? The governor could not give a clear answer on that. And this particular journalist, this was the pinnacle of uh, a most inappropriate things that occurred yesterday where the journalist, when I mean, approached him to ask a serious question, he patted her on her uh, cheek and he just walked away. And the journalists were shell-shocked, not just for anyone around them, but were completely shell-shocked because for a second, uh, uh, nobody re I mean, uh, realized what happened. Nobody couldn't understand how to react to the situation itself. But right now, all the journalists of Tamil Nadu have come forward and written a letter to the governor seeking his apology for his behavior. Right, Pramod. And after this incident, this uh, lady journalist in question actually tweeted about this incident. Uh, what is she asking now? Well, not just the particular lady journalists, the senior journalists, but also everyone in the, from the state are asking a very important question. That is that the bureaucrats, be it politicians or bureaucrats, they should know certain basic etiquettes as to how to uh, re, I mean, act in the public forum. And what he has done is not acceptable by anybody. And they are seeking his apology uh, as the first step towards it. Thank you, Pramod, uh, for joining us uh, with these details. Uh, so, a shocking incident coming in from Tamil Nadu.